Today I have the Extreme Production Aluminum Blade Grips and Rotor Head for the Blade Nano CPX. I'm going to open them both up, show you what they look like, show you how to install them, and let you know some of their features. First we'll take a look at the Aluminum Rotor Head. And the first thing that you're going to take out of the package, as with all Extreme products, are going to be your instructions. And as you can see, it comes with two different pieces that attach. It depends if you're using the stock linkages or the Extreme Production DFC linkages. I'm going to be using the DFC linkages that come with the aluminum blade grips. Next, we have the Extreme sticker sheet. And lastly, we have the aluminum rotor hub. As you can see, it comes with the two screws and the two anti-rotation guides. And I'm going to take this out of the package and show it to you closer up, and then we'll install it on the helicopter. And here's a close-up of the aluminum rotor hub. As you can see, it's very nicely machined. And I have the DFC anti-rotation guide pressed onto it. Uh, they're just a press fit on. And it doesn't come with any dampers. But if you're going to use the stock blade grips, you're going to use the stock dampers. If you're going to use the extreme production blade grips, it comes with two sets of different dampers. And I'm going to show you them later. So here's the rotor hub. It uses two screws, just clamps onto the main shaft like the stock one. And I'm going to go ahead and install it. And then we'll unbox the blade grips and show you what they look like. And now inside the aluminum blade grip package, this is what you get. You have the instruction sheet. Uh, you could use the stock hub if you want for the DFC arms. With these blade grips, you have to use the included DFC arms. And if you want to use the stock hub, you could just simply trim the guides off. And of course, you have your blade grips and DFC arms plus an extreme feathering shaft, and this feathering shaft is 1.5 millimeters in diameter versus the stock one millimeter, so this one will be less likely to bend. You have different dampers and spacers in here, and the instructions show you exactly where they go. The gray dampers are softer than the black ones included, and as always, you have your extreme stickers. So now I'm going to cut open the packages and show you the blade grips up close, and then we'll go ahead and install them. And here's a close-up of the aluminum blade grip, as well as the DFC linkage arm. As you can see, the blade grips feature the Extreme logo, and they're made of grade 7075 aluminum. And these are a little bit thicker than the stack blade grip, so you will have to use blade spacers, like on the Blade of 130X blade grips. I'll show you those once they're installed. And these DFC arms, the links are threaded on the end, so you could adjust blade tracking. And as you can see, one side does have the Extreme logo, and this is the side that you want facing out. Now we're going to go ahead and install this al along with the aluminum rotor hub, and I'll show you what it all looks like. And before final assembly, I just wanted to show you the size difference in the bearings. As you can see, the extreme bearings are much bigger than the stock bearings. That's just going to give you a little bit better flight characteristics, as well as make the Nano more durable, make the bearings last longer. And that is also why the blade grip spacers are necessary. And I'll show you those once it's all assembled. Okay, and here's the final product. Everything went together very nicely. The blade grips, they have no slop in them whatsoever. There's no in and out movement, there's no up and down movement, they're absolutely perfect. It's going to give some really nice crisp cyclic response. It's going to make the helicopter a lot more responsive. And what's nice about these upgrades as well is you could do either just the blade grips or just the hub if you don't want to do both. Because they are all compatible with stock parts. And the DFC linkages... Uh, they do have a direction to them, so if they don't easily snap onto your swash plate, just give them half a turn and they'll snap right on. 
And overall, this makes a really nice upgrade for your Nano. It's going to be a lot more durable with the bigger bearings, the thicker feathering shaft, as well as the fact that it's made of grade 70, 75 aluminum. So it's going to be very, very difficult to bend these if it's even possible on a helicopter this small. And these parts are going to last you a very long time. And it's going to end up being a nice upgrade to your Blade Nano CPX from Extreme Production.